Have you ever wondered who wrote the national anthem of India, which we used to sing daily during the school days? What is the name of the national anthem of India? What is the national emblem of India? Who designed the national flag of India? What is the importance of national symbols of India? Many such questions might have appeared in your mind for once. Here in this blog, we are presenting you the complete list of national symbols of India. Watch this video and find out what are the national symbols and their importance. The National Anthem of India Every country will have its own national anthem, which is a song sung on special events like school day or before starting sports, national day, inaugurations, etc. The National Anthem of India, Jangan Man, was written in the Bengali language by Nobel Prize winner Rabindranath Tagore in 1911. It was the first time that it was sung at the Calcutta Congress session on December 27, 1911. The song Jangan Man was published for the first time with the title Bharat Vidhata in Tatva Bodhini Patrika in January 1912. Later, the song was translated from the Bengali language to the English language in 1919 under the title Morning Song of India. The song was adopted as national anthem on 24th January 1950 in the Hindi language. The approximate playing time of the national anthem of India lyrics is 52 seconds whereas the shortest version is of 20 seconds. The National Animal of India the Bengal tiger is the national animal of India. Its botanical name is Panthera tigris. The tiger has earned the significant position of national animal of India because of its extreme physical power, grace, agility and intelligence. The Bengal tiger is the national animal of India. Bengal tiger is one of its kind and is found mainly in India and some parts of Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, China, and Myanmar. The Bengal tiger was declared as the national animal of India in April 1973 with the launching of the Project Tiger designed to protect tigers in India. Okay, so when was the tiger declared as the national animal of India? It was in April 1973. Till date, 27 tiger reserves have been established in the country under this project. Before that, the lion was the national animal of India. Therefore, earlier the national animal of India was lion, but now it is the tiger. There are some really interesting facts about the tiger. As the national animal of India, the tiger symbolizes the richness of the Indian wildlife. There are approximately 2500 tigers in our country. And statistics are increasing due to praiseworthy efforts of the government of India. You can find the Bengal tiger mainly in India and a few parts of Nepal, Bhutan, China, Bangladesh and Myanmar. In India, you cannot hunt the national animal that is tiger for any purpose else you will be punished under law. To give a place of honor to a national animal, the Bengal tiger images have been placed on the Indian currency as well as the posted stamp. The National Tree of India, Banyan Tree The Indian Banyan Tree is the National Tree of India and it symbolizes immortality. The roots of the trees spread over a large area for a period of time. It represents longevity and is part of the Hindu mythology. The banyan tree has huge branches, strong trunks and deep roots. It has a longer life than any other tree on the earth. Therefore, the banyan tree is the longest living tree on earth. You can see these types of trees near temples as it is used for shelter. It also has tremendous medicinal value and is beneficial for the treatment of various diseases. That is why the banyan tree is very very important to us. In Sanskrit, it is also called Kapil Vikshika and according to ancient accounts, it is considered a divine tree capable of fulfilling desires. 
It also serves as a meeting point for meetings and panchayats in the villages throughout the country. You can generally find this tree near temples. It is considered as a sacred tree in Hinduism and is worshipped as a significance of Lord Shiva. Kabir Vat is a small island on Narmada River near Vadodara, Gujarat and is popular because of the gigantic palmyon tree covering an area of 3.7 acres. You can see this in the photo that is present. So this is a huge palmyon tree which is very famous and it is found in Gujarat. The National Song of India, Bande Matram Important Facts on Bande Matram Bande Matram is the national song of India and it is written by a famous Bengal poet, late Shri Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay in 1870. The national song of India was composed by late Shri Rabindranath Tagore. So it was written by Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay and it was composed by Rabindranath Tagore. Bande Matram played a vital role in Indian national movement as it is known for its power to influence masses in political marches against the British rule. It was adopted as the National Song of India by National Assembly of India on 24th January 1950 and the meaning of these popular words is, I praise the mother. So, Bande Matram means, I praise the mother. The National Flag of India the national flag is also known as Tiranga. The national flag is a horizontal tricolor of deep saffron, kesari at the top, white in the middle, and dark green at the bottom in equal proportions. The ratio of the width of the flag to its length is 2 is to 3. The national flag of India was adopted in its present form during a meeting of the Constituent Assembly held on 22nd July 1947 when it became the official flag of the Dominion of India. A tricolor flag was first accepted by the Indian National Congress in 1931 having chakra in the place of today's chakra. Saffron color shows courage, sacrifice, and renunciation. White color shows truth and purity in thoughts and dark color is the symbol of life. Therefore, saffron color kya batata hai? Courage batata hai, sacrifice and renunciation. Jo white color hai, wo shows truth and purity and jo dark green color hai, it is a symbol of prosperity. Okay? A wheel chakra in the center of the white stripe is the symbol of progress and movement. It has 24 spokes. So, the beach mein flag mein chakra hai aur wheel hai, it is a symbol of progress and movement and it has 24 spokes. The national flag of India by law is to be made of khadi, a special type of hand spun cloth of cotton or silk made by popular Mahatma Gandhi. So, Mahatma Gandhi made Khadi very popular during the national movement and the flag of India, Tiranga, is always made of Khadi. Khadi. Supreme Court declared the right to post flag as the fundamental right under Article 19.1a of the Constitution in 2002. The flag was designed by Pingali Venkaya, an agriculturist and Indian freedom fighter. So this is very important who designed the national flag of India. The flag was hoisted first time by Sachindra Prasad Bose in 1906 in Calcutta and later on in the year 1907 as another tricolor flag was unfurled by the Madam Bika G. Kama in Sadgar. The first flag committee was headed by Dr. Rajendra Prasad. The right to manufacture the Indian flag of India is held by the Khadi Development and Village Industries Commission, which in, uh, in turn allocates it to the regional groups. So, not everyone can you know, just make the Indian tricolor flag. It is the right to manufacture is held by the Khadi Department Development of Village Industries Commission and they can only allocate it to regional groups. 
The national flag of India is a triangular shaped Indian national symbol which is made of a special type of silk cloth known as khadi with three color bands and a 24 spoke wheel of navy blue color and that wheel is known as the Ashok Chakra. The national bird of India and as we all know it's the peacock. The Indian peacock was adopted as the national bird of India. So some little facts about the peacock. A peacock is a bird native to the subcontinent and it represents the unity of bright colors and finds references in the Indian culture. Another reason why the peacock is chosen as a national bird is due to its widespread presence throughout the country so much that even the common people know it well. So it is a very common bird and it is found all over India and they're also very bright and it represents the unity of bright colors. On 1st February 1963, the government of India decided to make the peacock the national bird of India. This decision was taken after considering the options of the state government and the opinions expressed in the press. The male species is more colorful than the female peacock with a bright blue chest and neck and a spectacular bronze green tail of approximately 200 elongated feathers. The female is brown, slightly smaller than the male, and has no tail. The elaborate dance of the parade of the male, unfolding its tail and opening its feathers, is a magnificent feat. So I am sure we all have seen the dance of the peacock, and that is the male peacock. It has about 200 feathers in its tail, and it is a really magnificent feat. The Indian peacock has benefited from special conservation efforts due to its status as the national bird of India. The hunting of these birds is illegal. So, the hunting of the peacock is illegal and it is punishable by law in India. Although the total number of Indian peacock is unknown, they are abundant enough to be labelled as minor concern by the IUCN Red List. That means they are not an endangered species, they are very abundantly present throughout India and also this is one of the main reasons why it is the national bird of India. The national flower of India and it is the lotus. The beautiful and aromatic flower lotus is the national flower of India. So what does it symbolize? It symbolizes life, purity and wealth. Even though the flower grows in dirty water, it remains pure, therefore used to praise God, mainly Goddess Lakshmi. So mainly Goddess Lakshmi ki ja puja karte hai, then we use the lotus flower. At night after sunset, it closes its petals and sinks deep into the water. It raises with shine in the morning after sunrise. So jab raat hoti hai, to wo apne petals close kar lete hai, to sa paani ka chala jata hai. And when the sun rises, it again blooms and comes out of the water. It is predominant in the Indian subcontinent, particularly in India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. The recent controversy on 9th July 2019, the government has not accepted the status of any flower as the national flower of India, said by Minister of State for Home, Nityananda Rai, in Rajya Sabha. There was a little controversy in the Rajya Sabha where it was declared that there is no national flower of India and uh, this has not yet been solved. The national fruit of India and as we all know it's the mango. Mango or as its botanical name is Mangifera Indica, the king of fruits is also known as the national fruit of India for its delicious taste and sweet aroma. The king of all fruits mango was originated in India and has more than 100 varieties with different taste, smell and color. Mango has been adopted as the national fruit of India as it is famous from ancient India for being the most delightful and luxurious fruit. Apart from our country, Mango is also the national fruit of Pakistan and Philippines. 
India produces 43% of the total country cultivation of mangoes around the world. It is the best supplement for our health as it contains high volume of vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin D. A very interesting fact is that Mughal Emperor Akbar planted more than 1 lakh mango saplings in his territory garden known as Lakhi Bagh, which is in Bihar. The National Emblem of India The National Emblem of India is the noble icon adopted from the lion capital of Ashoka Spiller at Sarnath that denotes the motto of Satyamit Jaite, Truth Alone Triumphs. Lion capital was adopted as representation in December 1947 as an emblem of domination of India. Later, it was adopted officially as the National Emblem of India on 26 January 1950. The Ashoka pillar erected by Emperor Ashoka has four lions seated back to back which imply power, courage, confidence and pride. So there are four lions which are sitting back to back and that is the emblem and they sit on top of the Ashoka pillar and what do they say? What do they tell us or what do they imply? Power, courage, confidence and pride. So apart from the lion, the other animals demonstrated on the pillar are horse, bull, elephant and lion. The slogan Satyamev Jaite, the truth alone triumphs is engraved below the national emblem. Slogan Satyamev Jaite is a quote from the Mandaka Upanishad, the closing part of the holy Hindu Vedas. So from where did Satyamu Jaiti come? It is a quote from the Mandaka Upanishad. National emblem is the official seal of the President of India and central and state governments and an inevitable part of the official letterhead of the Government of India. National emblem is a part of all Indian currency and the national passport of the Republic of India. So the national emblem can be seen on the Indian currency and it can also be seen on the national passport of India. The national sport of India. Many people think that hockey is the national game of India. But let me tell you and clarify this doubt. There is no official record that hockey is the national game of India. Surprising, isn't it? Even government web portals mentioned hockey as our national game, but in 2012, a request from RTI, Right to Information, confirmed that hockey was not the national sport. The secretary of the Minister of Youth of Union replied that no such fight was ever recorded. On 15th January 2020, the Union Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports has replied that Centre hasn't declared any sport or game as the national game of India. For the RTI query filed by the teacher, Maurish Agarwal filed the query under RTI when a student asked him when hockey was declared as the national game. There is no competition in the world to beat the Indian hockey players at that time. The British introduced hockey in India during the colonial, colonial rule. So, hockey was introduced in India by the British during the rule. And at present also, India is one of the best hockey players in the world. The first hockey club in India was started in Calcutta in the year 1855. In India, Bengal hockey was the first hockey association that was founded in 1908. India participated in the Olympic Games held in Amsterdam for the first time in 1928. Hockey became popular from 1928 to 1956 as India played 24 Olympic matches and fetched 6 gold medals in the Olympics.